today we're gonna be doing some mist weaver live mist weavers have actually recently been buffed through the use of some of the conduits and the covenant abilities and uh, i've been running this mastery build with gust of mist condu uh, conduit as well and we're also running a legendary called uh, more commonly referred to as tom tears of mourning which has been nerfed as well and not surprisingly because it's been performing really well so far which basically every time using renewing mist is going to apply a hot on them which you can kind of see on my grid which is going to increase the healing on that person by 10 percent and it's also going to do splash healing when i use enveloping mist or vivify so you get a more more kind of split splash healing on top of the fact that you renewing mist is also doing splash healing when you cast um I don't have a cooldown for this, but this should be fine. Hey, and I'm trying out Yulon instead of uh, Red Crane. Red Crane has been redesigned in so many different ways, like I mentioned before. I might actually use Yulon right now. Again, if I use Yulon and I use Enveloping Mist on people, it's going to apply Enveloping Breath, which if you're playing on pre-patch right now, you don't get to experience Enveloping Breath because it's a... It's um, there's a rank two ability or it's not available in pre patch. So this is one of the things that kind of, like I mentioned, if you're playing pre patch, you won't see cooldowns like Yulon or Red Crane to be worthy or doing enough healing. Because I get to pick Yulon, I get to pick Jade uh, Serpent Statue, which honestly is not a huge. Like I mentioned before, I'm not sure if I'm really enjoying it because of the channeling times. But because of the mastery build, like right now, we can we can try and showcase the amount of mastery you're gonna get if I choose to activate weapons of order. And because of certain conduits, Palagos conduit here, then I have conduit custom misses a 30% chance to do 50% more healing. This was buffed recently. This is probably going to be a good pull here. Which we can try out again. The miss the monk has aggro, we're gonna apply our dots. We're gonna do a stone. We have our trinket proccing right now. We're gonna activate our gust of our vu. Again, I had revival ready. So right now you can see these little things, uh, these little orbs that extend the duration of my mastery bonus. I have 20 seconds of this, so it's quite a lot. So it should last the duration of this. If I cast essence font, it does AO healing as well. Eight seconds, I still have it. I'm gonna stand in it just to be. I'm gonna activate defensive just to be safe. Again, it expired, but I still have revival if I really wanted to do it, but I don't. So I feel with the combination again, I'm not 100% sure if I even want to use Yulon or if I if it's going to be the way to go because I, I still feel the red crane can be interesting to use again you have to remember that there's been a lot of changes to red crane like i mean a lot of changes all of a sudden red crane works with mystery of Master, mastery which a lot of people wanted which is a great thing and a wanted thing it's one of the big gripes of the mystery communities that a lot of the mystery abilities didn't work with master which made mastery poor like it scaled poorly it was a weird stat and now red crane works with it but the fact is it doesn't give you any more damage increase which is kind of weird and also it procs healing through mastery by activating abilities like uh, blackout kick and rising sun kick it doesn't work on tiger palm so that's something to account for but if you use tiger palm if you get teachers of the monastery the extra blackout kicks through teaching the monastery will proc the gust of mist healing and the Gust of Mist from Red Crane has a different spell ID or different value than the, your normal Gust of Mist from your Mastery, which has a weird interaction with certain legendaries. And we have Weapons of Order for 30 seconds. Our Essence Font was a Splash Healing. We have a ton of Mastery right now. I'm talking about a crazy amount. We have 257%. Like, we don't have to do anything. We don't have, like, there's no one gonna take any damage. The amount of healing that we're proccing from just using Vivify, and then also our legendary Tom. If we have more Renewing Mist, the more uh, Extend Life buffs that we have, those Extend Life also have a splash healing through our Vivifies and Enveloping Mists. But yeah, the reason I wanted to talk about is certain conduit changes. 
So we have a conduit that Gustav Miss has a 30% chance to do 50% more healing. This got buffed. Then we have a conduit that Weapon of the Border duration is increased and increases your mastery by additional percent. And then Pelagos one, Weapon of Order increases your mastery by a certain percentage. And if you collect these memories, it gets extended. So generally speaking, you get a whole ton of mastery by using Kirin Ability Weapons of Order, which recently got buffed as well. And Conduits got buffed. So now this build is something that I wanted to try out in raid situations because it was a whole lot of healing. Now, if you're doing Mythic Plus content, I feel like you're going to be picking Legendaries, uh, Covenant Abilities, Conduits, Soulbinds, which might provide a DPS. DPS is going to be a consideration. So this is the reason I think, again, I'm not sure if I would use that in Mythic Plus. I just want to practice it. And the same reason why I chose not to go with the Red Crane. I wanted to see how much healing I can get from Yulon. And if I'm not going to totally hate Jade Serpent Statue. I think it's pretty cool that Mysterious have more cooldowns to deal with AoE spikes. But in Mythic Plus, I think Mysterious are like somewhat underrated anyways. I think the amount of healing that they do is pretty strong. I think the overall HPS of a Mysterious in Shalons at this given moment is pretty high. But the problem is, is that there's so many different interactions with Mistweaver that could be... that are relatively unknown it could be like oh hey guys or blizzard could be like oh hey guys this ability is not supposed to work like this <laughs> i think a prime example is bone to brew for for um necro lords where bone to brew was actually performing really well but it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing and it made it was really awkward when it kind of got fixed and it wasn't that great anymore so I'm scared that it's going to happen the same way that, oh hey guys, certain legendary or certain covenant ability or conduit ability is not supposed to be working like this. And now Miss Weaver is going to be doing way less HVS. This is one of the things that I'm, again, with unfinished classes like a Miss Weaver or a monk in general, th th these dangers are actually real. In terms of other legendaries that might be interesting to check out, I wanted to check this out in... Raise situations, Yulon Whispers, activating Tunda Focus T, causes you to exhale, Bread of Yulon, healing 6 allies. This is something that got a huge buff in the last week in terms of healing, and it's something that I wanted to try out, but again, I feel like it's gonna work better in raid situations than it would in Mythic Plus. Um, so yeah, definitely want to do a decent amount of raid testing in the future. I already stunned the thing. Let's do some damage. Let's help out with killing the orbs. Mystery is definitely not a bad orb killer. We're gonna prime our trinket. I think we're gonna use it right now. Just because the mobs were gonna die pretty quick. We didn't get a huge trinket prime again. I'm using Soul Igniter for a lot of healers to do extra damage. Because I do feel that Especially with Miss Weaver. Miss Weaver's healing output is pretty strong, both single target and AoE. But yeah, on the previous dungeon, you basically saw the power of Master, the Ghost of Mist, because we we're running a certain combination of conduits and soulbinds. Again, the soulbind, Palagos, or Pelagos, or whatever you say, it is really extremely strong for Kyrians using Weapons of Order because you get a special ability that's going to increase the amount of Master you gain. And walking through sorrowful memories is also going to extend that effect. You also have a conduit, things like Gustav Mist has a 30% chance to do 50% more healing. This was both from 40%. You also have other conduits uh, to do with weapons of order. The weapons of order uh, duration is increased and your mastery is increased as well. On top of on top of uh, other conduits like Jade Bond, which also got both. So there's a lot of mastery at work with Kyrian, Weapons of Order, and Palagos, uh, Soulbind, which means that Master is, again, during that time, Master is going to account for a lot of your healing. There's going to be a lot of HPS numbers that you're going to be doing. Your Essence Font is going to proc this little AoE heal around you as well if you end up using it. So generally speaking, this is a type of build that I probably would like to see in raids. I would root, rethink the whole talent build that I was running. I would rethink the whole covenant build that I was running in that dungeon. Or if I was running a more Mythic Plus oriented build. But I really wanted to try out Jade Serpent Statue. I really wanted to try out the amount of healing Jade Serpent Statue would do. And also how much Yulon is going to account for in terms of HPS. Because if you pick Jade Serpent Statue, you also get Yulon. Now, my next trial would be to try out the Red Crane. 
to try out maybe a possible different build and see how much healing that's going to do but generally speaking monk was definitely it was feeling like a solid healer in terms of keeping people alive the dps that it was doing was pretty pretty low again because my covenant wasn't adding anything towards the dps and i was trying to make sure everyone's going to be alive but the hps portion felt extremely extremely strong